okay so in this video we are going to see how to operate uh, Siemens Dynamics S120 CU so press function and up key simultaneously that is together and the drive number will start blinking here one is blinking drive number one is blinking now check which module is blinking so it is easily visible that the ready LED of CU itself is blinking a ready LED of CU is blinking here at drive number one corresponding to drive number one it means CU is configured at this drive number one CU itself is configured okay now to check all the parameters related to CU just press the P button press the P button first select by pressing function and up the drive number will blink the LED will blink and then press the P button so the pressing the P button allows you to enter into the parameter list now here is the parameter R0 now to navigate through the parameter list just press up and down button and you will navigate through all the parameter related to this selected drive number one so this is parameter 5 parameter 4 parameter 6 p6 p7 right these are the parameters which we can actually change we can actually manipulate now this is 11 parameter 11 mm. 9 now the 10 is missing here is a trick uh, 6 5 4 why few parameters are missing that I will tell you in this video R parameter is the read only parameter parameters which we could monitor the, the monitor parameters read only parameters right so this is how now ok so you want to check the parameter number R2 value so just press P again so R2 is 0 so R2 parameter the value is 0 press P again back to R2 press the up key and you see that this is parameter 3 now what is there in parameter 3 you want to check press P press the P button and you will see the value of the parameter 3 ok ok now the home screen to return to the home screen R0 come to R0 parameter and press the P button so you return to the home screen actually ok R0 0 so now let us select uh, some other drive number ok some other drive number ok so here we are in the drive number one itself at one the cu is there at drive number one cu itself is configured at drive number one so these are the parameters related to cu this is r18 r19 okay so these are all monitor parameters or read only parameters r and p are the parameters which could actually change so this parameter value is shown over here this is 250322 okay very uh, easy and convenient to operate so this is r18 now to know about the description of this parameter by the meaning of these parameters you you simply need to refer the standard manual which is easily available on the internet you can you simply download that manual and you could get the idea of idea regarding the meaning of these parameters okay so there are many parameters but few are of uh, of frequent use and important really important one now press this function and up key again we want to 
go into some different drive number so I am pressing here function and up key again so now this drive number one is blinking okay one is blinking now press the up key and select this drive number two so now drive number two is blinking just check all the modules connected with this CU check the ready LED which ready LED is actually blinking then we have selected this drive number two at the CU by pressing function and up key simultaneously so this LED is now healthy it is green it is not blinking CU LED is not blinking so definitely drive number two is not CU now here are few motor modules so let us see okay here this ready LED is actually blinking red green red green red green so this module it means this module this motor module is actually configured at drive number two in the shield so this is very clear from here so whenever we are accessing the parameter related to drive number two means we are access we are actually accessing parameter related to this particular module okay so two is blinking we have identified which module is this press the p button to enter into the parameter list so just press the p button to enter into the parameter list so i have pressed p button here okay just see what happens so first parameter r0 which is a monitor parameter read parameter okay so now by pressing up and down key we can access all the parameters r2 okay r2 r2 the value is 0 now press up parameter number 5 p5 p6 p10 p13 p15 p20 r20 sorry and what is the value at r20 press p to know this 0 ok 0 0.2 0 0.1 so this is how we could actually monitor the parameters you could monitor encoder count pulse here also if it is a motor module and if uh, encoder is connected you can actually monitor the encoder pulse there is a parameter for that so this is r22 press the p button to monitor this parameter okay this is the value which is 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 this is how this value is uh, changing so this all is related to drive number two okay this so i am i am actually navigating here through all the parameters now r0 press the p button back to home okay this is 0 okay now again press function and up key simultaneously that is together keep pressed until the drive number starts blinking okay now press the down button back to drive number 1 again okay now again see the ready LED of CU is blinking so as we have seen earlier also that at drive number one CU itself is configured at drive number one. Generally CU is configured at drive number one. Okay. Fine. If you want to see the extended list of parameters, just select the CU press the p button and go to the parameter 3 change the value to two. so to to see the extended list of parameter
just select the CU and press B button select parameter number 3 P3 press P button again and change the value of P3 to 3 so setting the value of P3 equals to 3 in the CU you will be able to access extended list of parameters okay